Hey everyone, my name is Corey Kern and I would like to unbox a Katsu Cycle 2.0. When you order a Katsu Cycle 2.0, you will receive the Katsu Cycle in a box and you will also receive a bag for your bands. Inside the box, what you'll find is the Katsu Cycle, the charging cord, a connector for the wall, the connecting tubes, and some instructions. Now inside the box is the Katsu Cycle 2.0. Notice how small and light it is. There's also a clip on the back so that you can clip it on your belt, keep it nice and safe. There's a plug for the outlet with a USB connection. You have your charging cable. So what you do is you plug the USB cable into the outlet connector and then you plug the charging cable right into the Katsu cycle itself. It should come fully charged, so as soon as you pull out of the box, you will be able to begin using it. You will also receive the hoses that connect to the bands and an instruction manual. To connect the Katsu Cycle 2.0 to the bands, you want to take the tube that looks like that and you're going to stick it right into this little tiny hole on the side. Now it's a nice snug fit, so as you push it in there, you may have to wiggle it around a little bit. There's a flat spot on both sides to help you pinch it and push it all the way in. Do that to both sides. Take that, wiggle it around, push it in, and you're ready to go. Place that to the side. We'll put the charger over here. Now with the bands, pull both bands out and you have your legs and your arms. The arm bands are slightly smaller than the leg bands. This is the clip that plugs into the Katsu Cycle 2.0. Notice how there is a rubber gasket if that moves, you may have to put that in place after you use it, but that keeps a nice, consistent seal. This is the connector side, and you push it in there, wiggle it around. You may have to depress that button right there until you hear a click. There's the left side. You take this, undo that, push it in, wiggle it around, and now you're ready to go. Once you put the bands on, there's a piece of Velcro here that clips right to the side to help keep the band in place. To undo the bands, all you simply do is press the button down like that between your thumb and your index finger and you wiggle it and pull it out. Both bands, wiggle it, pull it out. With the leg bands, it's the same thing. You take the band side you plug it in to the connector, take the other band, plug it into the connector, just like that. Now you're ready to go. Same thing, they have that piece of Velcro right there so that you can easily clip it to your side. To disconnect, simply press the button, wiggle it out, same thing over here, pull it out and you're ready to go. To turn on the cycle, Simply press the button and hold it for about three seconds and it comes on. It says Katsu and then it automatically goes to a cycle. From there, you either press G or P and then high, medium, or low. To start out, we always recommend starting with a group low. And there it goes. We're not connected to the band, so there's no pressure. To turn it off, press the power button. Notice how it stopped. To get out of the group mode, hit the power button one more time and then you can switch to either side by pressing that button. To change it to the cycle, from the cycle to the training mode, you hold down the L button and it goes to training. From there, you use the P and the G to raise 
the pressure or lower the pressure. Once you get it to your desired pressure, press the power button and it'll start to get there. Again, we don't have this connected, so it got right to where we're going. Turn it off by pressing the power button. To go back to cycle mode, hold the L button and it goes back to cycle. If you'd like to turn it off, press and hold the power button and it shuts it off and you're ready to go. Now when you take your katsu apart to store it, you would like to hold the katsu unit on the top and the bottom. You don't want to hold down the buttons, but you can hold that area right there. You grab the tube and you may have to twist it because it's a nice tight seal. Wiggle it out. Same thing on the other side. Take it, wiggle it out, and you're good. You take the case, put the katsu back in there. Let's put the charger back in there as well. I like to keep the charger and everything in a nice sealed area. You take the tubes, you plug it in there, roll up the tubes, just like that, and you stick it down in there. Now you can place the bands back in the bag. What I like to do is stack the bands inside of each other like that so that it's a nice, convenient stack of bands.